Hey guys, what's up? It's Brittany. Today I'm back at you with another video. Today I'm doing something more dramatic, spring inspired. I asked a girl at work what she wanted to see. She said something pink and purple. So Gianna, I got you. All right, so as you can see, I already have my eyebrows done and I have a concealer on my eyes down as a primer set with a shadow that matches my skin tone. And today, to make this pink and purple look, I'm going in with my Coastal Scents 252 palette. Honestly, it's so cheap, and if you want something that has pigment and that is 252 different colors, like, it's only like 20 bucks. You can't beat that. So I have this shade right here. It's a light pink. I'm going to be putting this into my crease, and I'm going to be winging it out at the end. So I first put the color initially down in my crease, and now I'm just going to gently blend that color out into a wing shape. Using just a little bit of product at a time. I don't want this to get too harsh and too dramatic too quickly, that's why you do a little at a time. I'm not worried about keeping the color too clean. It's okay if it gets a little messy because I'll show you guys tricks and how we're gonna clean it up and it'll come together all in the end. All right, so now that we have that lighter pink down, I'm gonna be going in with a slightly darker pink. I'm gonna be using this shade. It's kind of a peachier tone. And I'm just gonna be taking a small blending brush with that color on it. I'm gonna be doing the same thing where I blend it into my crease and then I'm gonna wing it out at the end. I'm gonna stay above my crease because I do wanna do a negative space. Now that I have that color placed down, I'm going to take my first brush and I'm going to blend that color out. So taking some concealer and a flat eyeliner brush, I'm going to be carving out a cut crease. This is eventually going to be a negative space. Starting with the wing shape. Carving out a cut crease can be scary. My only tip is to go slow, take your time, don't try to rush it. And then once I have it carved out, I'm going to be setting that concealer before I can smudge it everywhere with an eyeshadow that matches my skin tone. If you mess up, just go ahead and set the concealer where you have it, blend some more eyeshadow over it, and then redraw out that crease. And I'm just constantly looking back and forth between that from a front view to make sure that my wings are all going in the same direction. All right, now that we have the cut crease already put in, I'm going to be taking the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Milk. I'm going to be sketching out a wing shape that I'm going to apply more shadows on over top. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not going to be taking that wing all the way to the cut crease because I do want a negative space. That's okay if you cover it up a little bit too much because we're going to go in the end and we're going to touch it up. Same with your wing if it's not perfectly straight. It's okay because we're going to clean it up in the end. I'm going to be using three eyeshadows on top of this. So the first shade I'm going to be using is this light baby pink shimmery shade. And I'm going to take this light pink shade and I'm going to put it on the inner third of my eye. Just patting it on top of the white pencil. Next, I'm going to be taking a dark pink. I'm gonna be taking this magenta metallic shade. And I'm just going to pat that, not all the way out on the wing, but to the wing. And I'm just gonna pat over that first color, to blend the two together. And then on the wing part, I'm going to be applying this dark purple. I'm using the tip of my brush to make sure I keep that negative space there somewhat. Again, don't worry if that bottom part isn't perfect and then tapping over the previous shade to blend it together to get an even gradient. So then using the same concealer brush that we used for the cut crease and a little bit more concealer, I'm going to be fixing up the outer wing. And then every time I see that it's getting muddied up with some of the purple pigment, I'm just going to wipe it off on the back of my hand and keep going over it. And now I have that wing cleaned up. You can do that concealer trick with regular eyeliner as well when you're trying to do like a black wing liner. That's how I always get mine to look clean. And the negative space on this eye remained pretty well. This eye not so much, so I'm going to be fixing this eye. I'm going to be taking a tiny liner brush with some concealer on it. I'm just going to be following what I already have. And then taking a small angled brush, I'm going to be setting that with a shadow. Just so that way it doesn't smudge. And actually I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye. All right, next I'm going in with some mascara and lashes. I'm gonna be using the new Kiss Blowout Lash in the shade Pixie. They're just very wispy, very dramatic and fun, and I feel like they would complement this eye look. So I'm gonna curl my lashes and I'm gonna be using my L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. Remember to let your lash glue dry before you put it on. Applying it to the center of my eye first. And 
then attaching the outer corner and then the inner corner. And then I just curl them to make sure they mesh completely with my um, normal lash. And now that the upper part of my eyes are done, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly move on to the rest of my face. All right, now that I have my face done, I'm going to be going back in with my NYX Milk Jumbo Pencil, and I'm going to be applying that to my lower lash line. I'm also going to be putting that in my waterline. Now taking a pencil brush, I'm going to be applying blue. So I'm going to be applying this light blue, this teal, and then I'm going to be blending it into I'm going to be gently pulling down my eye and patting that eyeshadow. just to make it also an eyeliner. Okay, I'm actually just gonna be mixing the middle blue and the dark purple together on my brush. And applying that on the outer corner, sort of attaching it to the wing, but not winging it out. Next, I'm going to be applying just a little bit of mascara to my lower lash line. Next, on my e.l.f. concealer brush, I'm going to be taking my ColourPop Ultra Shock Cheek and the Color Spoon and applying that as an inner corner highlight. I'm also just going to be taking a tiny bit of that shade and applying it onto my brow bone. And because I have such a dramatic look on my eyes, I'm going to be keeping it simple on my lips and I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Color Jolt in the, uh, in the color 05 Strip Down. It's honestly like my lips but better. Alright guys, and that's going to be all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoy this more fun, dramatic, colorful look. Um, it, it's very different than the last two tutorials that I've posted. So hopefully you enjoy this. Remember to always be a little kinder than necessary and spread all the love that you can. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a huge thumbs up. And um, don't forget to hit the little bell. It will notify you every single time I post a video. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Love you guys. Bye. And I was talking to a girl, and I was wondering, like, I was wondering. Oh God. I set my brushes over here so I can find them, and I can't find them. Remember to let your lash grow. Okay. Remember to let your lash glue. <laughs>